Hey buddy, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to be doing the weekend forecast day. We've got some very interesting weather coming up in the next week, and uh, I think you're going to find this uh, forecast uh, really quite interesting indeed, especially if you like uh, thunderstorms, because there's uh, some really fun new weather possibly on the way at the end of next week. Before I get on with the video, though, I just want to talk about the advertising. There'll usually be a video ad overlaying my web videos at gazwebbits.com. Please play those video ads. You'll be supporting gazwebbits.com by doing that. also want to talk about the websites that I'm using for this uh, forecast. There's uh, the radar picture uh, from the Met Office. Uh, there's the charts from Wetsend D and from weatheroutlook.com you can find all of those charts on my links page. So the only reason I'm using uh, the radar today is just to demonstrate that uh, for once this summer we've got a basically a dry day across the British Isles. There are one or two a little showers scattered around but uh, really the country is dry today. It's, that's quite an unusual occurrence uh, for this summer. Um, so uh, that's one to uh, remember really that picture because we haven't seen that very often this summer of virtually completely dry at British Isles. So this is the situation today. We've got a high pressure ridging in from the southwest. The Azores so is finally starting to uh, show its hand. We've got this deep area of low pressure out to the west of the country. And I think what we're going to be looking at today is some cloud rain eventually getting in towards the far west of Scotland and Northern Ireland. But really the bulk of the country under this ridge will have a lot of dry weather today. Uh, with some uh, bright or sunny spells and fair weather cloud bubbling up. So a nice day with temperatures up to around 20, 21 degrees, around the 70 Fahrenheit mark. Very nice day indeed. Now overnight we're going to find a warm front spreading across the country and uh, that warm front is going to bring a lot of cloud with it so I think many of us will turn cloudy overnight and it's also going to turn quite windy up in the west of Scotland with more rain coming into western Scotland and Northern Ireland by the end of night but the rest of the country generally quite dry tonight just uh, turning cloudy. Temperatures will be higher than at last night it's a very cold night for July last night but the temperatures tonight uh, no lower than around 8 to 15 Celsius. Now into a Sunday we've got this area of high pressure down to the southwestern of the country building across England and Wales. Got this very deep area of low pressure around Iceland, and usually deep, 975 millibars, very autumnal, and that's bringing strong winds as indicated by these isobars uh, to the north. So, Scotland, Northern Ireland, uh, Northern England having quite a windy day, and there'll be more rain arriving into Western Scotland and Northern Ireland through the course of the day. Some of that rain could be quite heavy, and clouds spreading across much of Scotland and into northwestern England through the day. But to eastern and uh, eastern Scotland, Scotland and uh, Northern England should generally stay quite dry. The rain will be in the west. Further south, well, we have a cloudy start across England and Wales, but the sun will quickly burn through that cloud, and uh, then it's going to be quite a sunny day, really, quite a lot of sunshine uh, through tomorrow afternoon, and turning very warm indeed in the southeast. Temperatures possibly up to 25 Celsius, 77 Fahrenheit. So tomorrow is the day for your barbecues, if you like uh, barbecues in the warmth. Uh, temperatures up to 77 Fahrenheit in the southeast. Of course, it's cooler in the north with uh, the winds, but even so, it's quite humid with temperatures of around uh, 18, 19, 20 degrees for much of Scotland. Now, as we go into what uh, Monday, we've got this low pressure still to the north of Scotland, but the high pressure is building to the south. We've got a trailing weather front to cross the central parts. So this weather front is going to be a bit of a nuisance for the first half of the week, but it means that for Scotland, Northern Ireland, we're going to have quite a cloudy day on Monday with outbreaks of increasingly light and patchy rain uh, gradually moving southwards in towards Northern England with sunshine and showers following central Northern Scotland. Uh, for the rest of the country, which is really the bulk of England and Wales, it'll be again a dry and a fine day with a fair amount of sunshine. I had a message from uh, Lucy, by the way, in my comment section. Uh, she's taking a uh, party to Snowdonia next week and wanted to know what the forecast is going to be like in Snowdonia next week. I think you've picked a pretty good week, actually. Uh, to be in Stodonia next week. It's not going to be too bad, although I say there will be the risk of thunderstorms once we get through to the end of the week. But I'm not an expert in mountain forecasting, so keep an eye on uh, the Met Office website. But anyway, Monday looks like being quite a nice day for uh, England and Wales with a fair amount of sunshine. Uh, the cloud and patchy rain is in the north. Temperatures up to 26, maybe 27 degrees. 27 is 81 Fahrenheit, so very warm in the south, but uh, cooler in the north uh, where 
where we've got that cloud rain. But even so, it's still quite warm and humid with temperatures up to 20 degrees. That weather front is still trading across the central parts of the country as we go into Tuesday. In fact, a good pep up, so we may see some heavier rain coming in across northern Ireland, parts of northern England, southwestern Scotland. Could be really quite wet. Uh, to the far north of Scotland, central northern Scotland, it's cooler with sunshine and showers. And then uh, for England and Wales, we'll have a fine day with a lot of uh, bright and sunny weather. Although perhaps more in way of cloud coming through Wales and the Midlands uh, through the course of the day. Temperatures again, possibly up to 27, maybe 28 degrees. 28 is 83 Fahrenheit. That's quite hot, really, in the south. But it will be cooler in the north on the northern side of that weather. And as I say, northern England, uh, northern Ireland, some Scotland could be quite wet. Now, as we go into a Wednesday, that front will be working its way southwards as a very weak feature, but it could give a few showers across England and Wales. Then we've got this bit of a ridge developing uh, to the north, so Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England probably having drier weather with sunny spell. But by this point, the forecast is getting very, very uncertain, so don't take this uh, too uh, uh, with too much confidence really this is getting very uncertain but uh, normally it's probably better on Wednesday with more in way of sunshine the cloud we have a few showers and, but not too, too much uh, further south temperatures around 26 27 degrees once again around the 80 Fahrenheit mark and then things getting really uncertain as we go into Thursday and beyond that into Friday. We've got this uh, trough developing to the north of the country and we're also starting to bring up a thundery uh, low from the south. I think Scotland and Northern Ireland could see more in way of cloud and some rain uh, coming down through the course of the day uh, on Thursday. But it's difficult to say how extensive or heavy that's going to be. And maybe the chance of a thunderstorm breaking out along the south coast. But the rest of the country dry and very warm with a lot of sunshine and temperatures up to 20. 27, 28, maybe even 29 degrees. 29 is around 84 Fahrenheit, so that's really getting very hot indeed actually uh, by Thursday and then finally going into Friday where we've got this uh, trough coming down from the north the low pressure coming up from the south possibly forming a very thundery area of low pressure across England and Wales now Friday is the opening day of the Olympics the opening of the Olympic ceremony so uh, the organisers of the Olympics will be keeping an eye on the forecast I should think for Friday because we could see a lot of heavy rain and thunderstorms developing across uh, England and Wales on Friday some of those storms could be really very very violent and torrential. Uh, to the north it dries up and turns much cooler with winds coming in from the north of the northeast. Temperatures very much reliant on uh, the cloud and rainfall amounts, possibly at the outside up to 30 degrees, 86 Fahrenheit in the far south or south east. But as I say, it's very much reliant on cloud amounts and uh, how extensive those thunderstorms are. But uh, Friday, one to watch, I think, could be very thundery down. I'll be keeping you updated on this. I'll add to Gab's weather vids. Uh, Friday really could be one to watch indeed but quite a severe uh, spell of weather I mean as we go into Saturday that low pressure is sitting over the country we bring down this much cooler fresher north or northeasterly wind so it will all, we'll all be cool I think on Saturday the thundery weather clearing away but this low pressure could still keep it very wet with some prolonged and heavy rain around in places uh, those temperatures will be coming down, so be down to just 22, uh, 23 degrees, and certainly feeling a lot cooler and fresher with this northeasterly wind. Finally, have a look at the charts from the weatheroutlook.com, just see whether in your area through the weekend. Well, a few showers around today, but I think this is a bit overdone. A lot of dry weather today with a fair amount of sunny spells. Temperatures still a bit on the chilly side, really, but up to around 21. 70 Fahrenheit, a lovely day tomorrow, long sunny spells, although later on we will start to bring some cloud and rain back into the northwest of Scotland, but generally it's a very nice day tomorrow with temperatures possibly as high as 25 degrees, perhaps in one or two places. Uh, another fine day ready for the bulk of the country on Monday, although we've got this rain uh, through Scotland and Northern Ireland. That'll be coming southwards like across Northern England on a Tuesday. It could be a, a real nuisance this weather front on Tuesday with some heavier rain perhaps coming in from the west through Northern Ireland, southwest Scotland and Northern England through the day. Lovely sunny and very warm in the south. Temperatures into the uh, mid to upper 20s. Wednesday, a lot of dry weather with a fair amount of sunshine. Could be a shower scattered around across England and Wales, but that's quite uncertain. And um, as I say, the confidence really falls away from Wednesday onwards. 
Thursday, well, more showers coming into the north, very warm with sunshine in the south, and then there's those uh, storms possibly breaking out across England and Wales on Friday. A hot day, a humid day, uh, but the risk of some very violent thunderstorms breaking out through the course of Friday across England and Wales. One to watch is going to be. I'm going to keep you updated through the week. It uh, could be very uh, interesting and, I say, very much one to watch. And then by next weekend, it's all cooler and fresh again, but still with quite a bit of rain. Uh, so in summary, well, summer is arriving. We're going to have our first really summery week of the, the summer 2012 this week. Uh, very warm with sunshine for much of a week in the south, but the risk of thunderstorms by Friday. Uh, Northern air is always more unsettled uh, with some showery rain at times. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.